Yo, what's up guys? It's Chosen. Sorry, I'm a little bit sick today. Um, highly requested tutorial, time remap tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do it with Speedex, but there's tons of ways. You could use flow frames, you could use uh, uwu 2x to interpolate, and then just use like Twixter and time remap it. Um, today we're going to be going with Speedex. So, the very first step is get a clip that you want to time remap. I'm going to use this one, I've done it before. Um, it's a pretty easy clip because there's very small movements and I can uh, I feel like I can teach you better with more subtle movements than with larger ones. That's a that's a different kind of remapping. So the very first thing you want to do once you have your clip is every single time the clip moves, you wanna you wanna go through frame by frame, cut it every single time the clip moves. So right here, see a movement, cut it. See a movement, cut it. And just repeat that until your entire clip is done. All right, after that, there's no movements. So you want to keep that as the last frame right here. And then for this part, I don't know, it's a little bit weird. I think I'm just going to take this out. All right, the next step, select your, um, select your clips from bottom to top. Drag them to the left to create the one frame. So you take it from the right to the left, create a one frame. Then uh, keyframe assistant, sequence layers, okay. And the reason you want to select them from bottom to top is so that they sequence correctly. Because if, um, here, let me click off. If I um, select them from top to bottom and then did sequence layers, it would go the other way around, which we don't want. Next thing you want to do is pre-compose this, uh, have the bottom option unchecked, just this option checked. Move all attributes into the composition. You don't need to name this. Um, if there was a beat right here, like if this is where the clip started, um, let me get, let me give you an example actually. Say the clip starts right here, pre-compose it. You're going to cut that back end before it starts. Now next step, pre-compose it again. Make sure you have both options enabled this time. And then you can put on Speed X. Now there are two ways you can time your map with Speed X. One is the speed ratio, which I never use. So I'm going to show you how to do the frame number way. Um, I don't have a song here, so I don't know how long I want this to be. I'll just do some random amount. You go inside this composition to check how many frames you have inside the double pre-comp. Right here I have 23, so we're going to do one less than that, otherwise it would bug out. We're going to do 22 frames at the end. Uh, say I want it to end like right here, 22. Now we have our keyframes, and I kind of want it to pause in the middle right here. So put, a f put another keyframe right there. Uh, this is where I want it to pause. And now you can time remap. Just easy ease these keyframes, go into the graph editor. And I don't like using speed graph for time remap. I think it's a really bad idea. You should probably use the value graph if you can. Uh, since I want it to pause in the middle, I'm going to have a sharp graph kind of like upwards like this going in. So she makes this first movement uh, very quickly. And then in the middle here, we're going to have this kind of pause where it's really slow. It's really slow. Wait, actually, I'm gonna move that back. Kinda want it to do this. Yeah, like that. And that's obviously not long enough. Uh, it's hard for me to gauge without any uh, song how long it should be. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple um, to use SpeedX. I, I think it's one of the more friendly time remapping plugins. You see, this is this is pretty easy. I, I did this super fast. Um, if you were to use like, sorry, again, I'm sick. If you were to use like Anime Scripter for this, I don't think it's slow, um, but I personally find it like, way quicker to do it this way. Uh, obviously, Anime Scripter and Flow Frames and Ubuntu 2 x would probably be better for interpolating, but in terms of time remapping, I like SpeedX a lot more. So that's going to be it for the tutorial today, guys. Um, 
you want like a shake tutorial or something like that, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll release that. Peace out, everyone. Have a good one.